yesterday, it not only drizzled, it not only rained a little bit, but it rained quite a bit. So we had a good bit of rain yesterday, and it is 56 degrees, so the temperature is about the same that it was yesterday, but it is looks like blue skies today, really pretty. Yesterday, we did end up going to the Deerfield Fair after I had school, and unfortunately, it rained, so we ended up sitting inside and just chit-chatting with some friends that we met that we haven't seen in a long time. It was really nice to catch up with them, but this morning, the sun is out, and it is really nice. It looks like it's going to be a great day. So I'm glad because people come from far away to work at the fair. And I hope that you can see the beautiful colors on the trees as I drive along. This is the road that I live on and I just drive out this road every day to work in southern New Hampshire. So this is a road that is a probably historical, right? It's a lot of older homes. It's not a new neighborhood. I just love how the trees just kind of make a little, like you're going through a tunnel. It's kind of pretty. And I just wanted to make some videos that would kind of showcase the foliage in New Hampshire this time of year. It just seems to creep up on you. All of a sudden you notice there's a few leaves that are turning and a few more and it usually takes a few weeks before the leaves get to a peak of vibrancy. And every year it could be different. You could see more oranges or more yellows. So I don't know what it's gonna be like this year, but. I'm glad that it's not raining today because we have had some falls where it rains through the whole experience. Okay, so here we go. We've got some beautiful blue skies today. Awesome. The Deerfield Fair is about 15 minutes from my house and it's, I don't know how many acres of property but people come from all over the state to check it out. There's lots of animals. Some fairs have more vendors, but Deerfield has a lot of activities for families. You can go to the petting zoo. You can go to the pig scramble. That's a really popular one. And what they'll do is they get six to eight pigs, baby baby piglets, and they put them in a ring and they let, they call out, I don't know, the same number of children and they time them. And if they can catch the pig and put it into the burlap sack before the timer goes off, they can take it home for free. And it's not like a greasy pig's chase or anything like that. It's pretty humane. But you can bring the pig home and raise it as your own. And then we had it butchered by a professional. But you can also do it yourself. I've had friends who had family catch the pig, bring it home, raise it, and butcher it themselves. So whichever way you want to do it. It's an agricultural fair. There's also lots of people who do grass. I was there last night and I got some awards for some of the knitting and crocheting projects that I put in. I also did a couple paintings and I got um, one photo. So my paintings, last year I got a blue ribbon, this year I got a red ribbon and a white. I was kind of surprised at the white one because I thought it was a really nice painting. but. Uh, I think they were a little more strict this year on uh, giving out their blue ribbons, but they don't usually give out like one person wins everything. They just say, is it high quality? They give them a blue ribbon. If it's, you know, they kind of do levels. I don't know what they base it on, but it's just kind of fun. And then at the end of the, at the end of the season, they tally up how many blue ribbons and red ribbons and they actually give you a few dollars for each ribbon that you get. So I'm already planning on next year. What can I 
this thing is, is you, you go with family members and, you know, they want to look at this and you want to look at that. <laughs> That's the hardest part, is getting to see everything. When the kids were little, it was awesome because I could lead them around and pretty much have control of the situation, but it's different when other people have things they want to do. We like the hoss pulling. They have draft horses that pull huge uh, pallets of concrete. You see how far they can pull those things. And that's kind of fun. They also have horse shows where they show off beautiful horses and people who ride them. Circus acts and different types of displays, music, lots of food sell things, handmade things as well. So today is also the day after the storm in Florida, Helena. So last night it was, everybody was hunkering down. I was looking at the news, checking things out. This morning when I turned on my, the news, it seemed like it was pretty much dissipating down to a, just a regular storm. So, I hope you enjoy the beautiful scenery in New Hampshire. I just thought maybe this would be a great way to share this with my viewers. So, if you're new to my channel, please give this video a like, thumbs up, and please subscribe to my channel. I'm looking to grow my channel to 1,000 subscribers. That is every new YouTuber's or small YouTuber's.